So let's talk about deodorant. Our bodies need a detox. One of the major uh, detox centers in the body is the lymph nodes located in the armpit area. Most antiperspirants use aluminum. Aluminum is a heavy metal and the parabens that create a plug in the pore of the skin to block the sweat clan and decrease sweating actually causes toxins to build up in that area over time. Obviously, I don't want to sweat or stink or, and you know, staying fresh and detoxing is a must for me. So here's how I get rid of underarm odor, decrease sweating without heavy metals and traditional paraben filled deodorants. So first I'm gonna talk a little bit about the ingredients to avoid, um, which I, the products I was using before, literally had all of them. And we're gonna talk about why we should avoid them. So first, uh, phthalates and triclosan. So phthalates and triclosan are linked to hormone disruption and that they cause many issues, including hormone issues. They're also linked to a higher risk of birth defects and many um, disrupt the hormone receptors, which increases the likelihood of cell mutation in cancer. So triclosan um, is another one. It's classified as a pesticide by the FDA and classified as a probable carcinogen by the EPA. Parabens are directly linked to breast cancer. They disrupt our delicate hormonal balance, which can, in kids, lead to early puberty and an increased risk of hormonal cancers, birth defects, and even organ toxicity. In fact, a 99% of biopsied breast cancer tissue contains parabens that were absorbed from deodorant. So most deodorants also contain propylene glycol, which, which causes damage to our central nervous system, the liver, and our heart. Another big one that I mentioned before is aluminum. Um, but why? So aluminum is a heavy metal. It's linked to an increased chance of tumor growth, breast cancer in women, prostate cancer, even Alzheimer's. So now what's the function of deodorants? So de de the function of deodorants and antiperspirants is different. The function of deodorants is to kill the bacteria that causes odor. And the function, uh, function of antiperspirants is to trap the sweat inside the sweat glands. So both of those two things cause the body to have blockage and prevent it from detoxing. And it creates a very heavy chemical load in our lymphatic system. And if it couldn't get any worse, both types contain scented compounds to mask the scent of odors. So these scenting compounds introduce a whole nother set of problems and chemicals and health issues. So fragrances can contain over 3000 harmful stock ingredients from manufacturers. And since fragrance is considered a trade secret, it's federally protected. And so manufacturers just don't have to share what chemical compounds are used in their fragrance mixtures. Research suggests that breast cancer usually develops near the armpit. This is the area closest to the lymph nodes, the major detox center, and it's most exposed to the antiperspirants. As I mentioned, 99% of breast cancer tissues contain parabens, and currently one in eight women is uh, will develop breast cancer this year. So here's a tip for you. I don't know if you've heard of it or not, but there's a great app called Think Dirty. Download it on your phone. Um, and then if you're not shopping, if you're out shopping for personal care products or cleaning products, you can actually scan the item with your Think Dirty app before purchasing them and make sure it doesn't contain any harmful ingredients. On the app, it will have a rating scale zero to 100, zero being the safest possible. Uh, personally, I don't recommend using any product if it's over a two, maybe a three. The best way to reduce your body burden is simply by reducing the number of products you're using. Norwex offers two safer solutions um, and they work. I personally use the crystal deodorant. I have been using it for over two years. It's made from mineral salts and it helps to stop odor causing bacteria without stopping natural perspiration, but I never get wet or anything and it does not block the pores. It is a non-staining, non-sticky alternative to antiperspirants containing that 
triclosan, and fragrances we talked about. It does not contain any additional oils, perfumes, or other additives, and it's formulated with a crystallized natural mineral salt and alum, and that does not clog the pores either. It's odorless, non-sticky, non-stating, and be, can used anywhere where you're sweating, which is great. So, you know, the feet, the groin area, so let's kind of talk a little bit about um, how to use this. First, you're gonna moisten the top of the crystal under running water, which I just did. Then you're gonna apply it on the underarm area or any other area that's prone to sweating. When you're done, you simply rinse this off under the water and wipe it dry. I like using our body cloth or the hand towel and then I replace the lid and I store it upside down in case there's any moisture in here. Um, this is over a year old, you guys, and it's like under 13 bucks. Fun fact for you guys, pers per 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 <laughs> per uh, perspiration is largely odorless. Um, that is until it's fermented by the bacteria that thrives in warm, humid places like under our arms. Underarms are among the most consistently warm areas on the body. If you prevent bacteria, which is what that does, you're preventing the odor. Now my husband and my boys use our prebiotic deodorant and they have for a couple years. It's just easier for them because it's a one step swipe and go. Um, I couldn't get the young boys on board with a two step process of the crystal cause you gotta wet it, right? And my husband just wanted something similar to his previous deodorant, but without all the harmful chemicals, of course. So this is a great option. The prebiotic deodorant is fantastic. It's formulated to neutralize odors from sweat and it provides 48 hour protection. For those teenagers who might forget to put deodorant on, it contains aloe and witch hazel to fight odor and definitely keeps your skin happy. It also contains prebiotics to neutralize the odors from sweat and the bacteria and it has antioxidants, which fight free radicals and has charcoal in it to absorb sweat and other impurities. Some, a cool thing about this, it was featured in Happy Magazine for beauty products that improve the barrier of your skin. And honestly, my boys just needed a really long lasting deodorant that keeps fighting odors all day, especially with sports and practices. And you know, you know the awful smell of a sweaty teenager. Um, but we certainly don't want a messy deodorant full of toxic chemicals that clogs pores and disrupts the natural body processes. So there you go. Uh, have a great day.